welcome to our channel. Join us on a multi-day snowmobile adventure in a remote area in northwestern BC. We are on a three-day trip connecting different valleys and we cold camp at night under the northern lights. We are going on a challenging snowmobile camping trip this weekend, so we've decided to pack light. We will not be taking the wall tents, we are going to go cold camping. Because it's going to be challenging, we want to take light toboggans, so we're going expedition style and try to take the least possible weight so that we can guarantee our success on this trip. Because we are going into remote backcountry with no cell service or people within a long ways, we have to make sure all our gear is in good condition and ready to be used. We are supposed to go camping tomorrow, but it's raining. It's kind of like a sleet, yucky, half snow, half rain. Would you go snowmobiling and camping in this kind of weather? If you wait for good weather, it's never going to happen. So what they say, there's no bad weather, only bad clothing. I think we've prepped all our Gore-Tex gear and brought our warm stuff just in case, but we'll see. <laughs> it's going to be what it's going to be. Good morning. It's go time day today. And I'm so excited because it snowed. We had a very windy night overnight and it was raining yesterday as you saw. But this morning there's just a bit of fresh snow, which is very encouraging. A cup of coffee is in the making. We'll do our final preps before we head out. The last preps include hooking up the toboggans, making sure we have our emergency gear, fill the thermoses with hot water and tea, and install Scooby in the Scooby Mobile. I think we're all packed, Scooby. Yeah, I think we're all packed. We're gonna lock the house and off we go. <laughs>
We are gaining elevation. We get to see a bit of scenery. We're just up on a steep hill. The goal for this trip is to connect multiple tracks in different areas by going cross country and making our way over mountain passes. This will allow us to make a three day loop. We are making progress towards the first pass. The camera fails to show it properly, but the route is pretty steep and some parts require some trail packing, which is going back and forth a few times before being passable. This is easy going. It's really too bad there is no visibility as it would have been great to see the surroundings, but that's okay. We are here having a good time.
After making it over the pass, we go down a steep hillside where it's hard to film as full control is needed. We made it up and over the pass. Hopefully we're now out of the wind and after being stuck a couple times, we're nice and hot too now. Um, we're just going to go, Philippe just went to scout to see where we're going next. Uh, the, the summer dirt road goes up that way. But with the snowmobiles, it's a bit steep, so he's going to see if it's going to be possible. If not, we'll find another way. While the scenery is white today, here's a glimpse of where we are and how it looks in the summertime. easier for Philippe to navigate. <laughs> Crazy when it's so white you don't see up, down, left, right. <coughs> Doing an awesome job. <coughs> Scooby is yelpy. The valley is vast and navigation is hard. Due to low light levels and uneven terrain, sometimes we have to stop to decide where to go. understand where the machine can go, which is two different things. Mm -hmm. yeah. nice, uh, well, you did a great job leading us through there. Yeah. Those riddles, shove your order, you know, you don't want a, a riddle that's too deep. <laughs> so it's, it's quite, a, quite a workout to find a way that's, you know, like proper zig lots of zigzagging to, especially the snow is deep, eh? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, with the trailers on the edge. I don't know how many times I'm throwing it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Sometimes what looks like a gentle slope can be a vertical slope due to the light conditions.
We make our way back down into the tree line as it's getting dark. It's time to look for a place to camp. So here we go. We found a, a spot for camping. And uh, Leandro and Justin are preparing the camp. And me, I um, uh, found a dead tree here. I'm gonna have a little campfire to dry our gloves and stuff. You can see the camp there, somewhere in the bush. Uh, like, uh, there we go, we see the light. That's where we camp. I think they're packing the ground. Yeah, that's where it is. Okay, but I cut my tree. Found a nice spot to set up camp for tonight. I'm in the trees. Justin and I are just going to pack it a bit so it's easier to get around. Oh, that looks pretty cozy. <laughs> oh, there comes Philip with some firewood. Cozy and set for the night. Is it good, Justin? Not bad. Yummy. <laughs> Cleaning out my track, <laughs> full of snow, and after some creek crossing today, it's quite slushy in there, so Indeed. you don't want that to freeze overnight. No. Good job. I do. Good night for now. If you've enjoyed watching our video, please don't forget to subscribe, leave us a like, and a comment. <laughs> See you next week for a continuation of this trip. Bye!